right, so you have a cube like this and it's got a lot of materials or you have a, uh, you know, a character model or a mesh or whatever the hell it is and you want to bring it into your game but you don't want all these materials, you want to condense that all down to one. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first things first is let's create a new UV map. You won't have this one, you'll probably just have uh, this one here. So all you have to do is just click on that. Uh, now this one is active, uh, it doesn't have to be active visually, it just has to be selected. So then we'll go to edit mode, and with that UV map selected, uh, hit A, go UV, and then smart UV project, project everything. And then uh, go back to object mode, that's good now, and leave that one selected. Now we have to go to shading, and uh, we're gonna need a texture to bake on. All these, uh, all these sides are the same, they're all just pictures, and they're just different colored pictures. So if we go to uh, like green, you can see it's just green. So we'll go back and put that to red. We'll go to uh, each slot. We need to add a texture. Let's see, image texture. We'll go ahead and add that in. We need to make a new one. We're going to call this um, Bake 2. Uh, I'm going to make this times 2. And then um, yeah, times 2. All right, we'll change that. We don't need alpha because there's no transparency. We'll hit OK. And then uh, we need to copy this for every slot on our thing. So control C to copy, we'll go to slot two, control V, uh, we'll go to blue, control V, purple, control V, yellow, control V, and then orange, control V. So uh, they're all selected, make sure they're selected in every single slot. And then make sure you have your second um, UV map selected here. We then are going to go to our uh, render properties tab and we're going to change our render engine to cycles and then you come down to this bake tab right here. So you want to change your bake type to uh, diffuse if you just want the color or whatever you're trying to bake. This is your direct light, that's your indirect light, I only want the color. Make sure that's uh, not checked, that's only for high poly and low poly baking and then we can go ahead and hit bake. All right, so now that we have that baked, we are going to uh, just grab this cube, shift D, G on the Y, let's bring it over. Let's go to the materials tab and we're just gonna clear out all these materials here because we don't need them. And then uh, let's see, we'll make a new material. And then we're going to add texture, image texture. We will pop that in right there. And then of course we're going to load up our bake to image and uh, it doesn't look so great right now, but if we go down here and we select this as our active, and then we can get rid of the original UV map because we don't need it anymore. And so now we have uh, our two cubes here. One, we'll call this uh, all colors. So now you can see we have the exact same cube. Looks pretty similar. Uh, there might be a slight difference in quality, but uh, a lot of materials on this one, single material on that one.